welcome to time on my hands I just want to show you how to program the cell s rt520 RF control units we've used we use these day in day out they're a great piece of kit it's got open firm so it is very very efficient so first off when you get the thing it will say first thing it will say to you is language so let's start with language so you press the tick English well we'll have English the next setting we've got is time and date so we press that let's have 24 hours press the tick and the time is 2035 there we go year 19 tick month 4 tick day Ninth tick. What do we want to see? Monday to Friday? Monday to Sunday? Yeah. Daylight saving time on. Okay, so now we can set the times. Schedule. Tick. Monday to Friday? No. Individual days? No. All week? Yeah. What time do we get up? Six in the morning? Tick. What temperature do we want at 6? 18 degrees, please. And we've got the next one at 8. We'll also have 18 degrees. And at 2, we will have 17. Press tick. When something is flashing, you can change the value of the flashy thing using the up and down arrows. And when you've got the value you want, you just press the tick. Okay, fantastic. So that's that. So let's go back into there. What else have we got? We've got pairing. So we use pairing to join these two things together using our radio waves. They do need to be wired up, so we can't do pairing at the moment. So what other things have we got? We've got language, holidays. It's got a holiday function, so you can press the holiday function and you can tell it what year you're going away, what month you're going away, and what day you're going away, and what time. Okay, and then coming back, you can tell it what year, what month, what day, what time. So you can make the boiler, and you can set a frost temperature as well, so you can 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, whatever. So you can tell the heating to come back on the day before you land from Malaga in the middle of winter, and your house will be nice and warm for you. Next one we've got for you. Next setting that it has. Holiday, time and date, landlord. I don't know about this. Let's have a look. Tick. We can put a pin number on it, presumably, so that's only the landlord can change the settings. Okay. Let's tick that. Tick that, tick that. All the zeros. Service. We can enter a service reminder so it can prompt the customer that the service is due. And presumably, if we go into that... Oops, pairing language, holiday, time and date, landlord, control, ah, what does control do? Control, tick, span, ah right, so you can set the whether you want half a degree, 0.2 of a degree, or half a degree on the, the readings. So that's just a quick overview. There are a couple of other features I've not gone into, like frost thermostats and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm running out of uh, space on my little video camera. The uh, the memory card is waving at me and saying full. So if you've got any other features that you would like to know about, then like, comment, subscribe, message me, post a comment, and I will do a follow-up video. But for now, I think that's everything. When the open firm is connected, the boiler temperature will be displayed just here. So, for example, if the boiler is warm and is at 30 degrees, it will say 30 degrees there. Okay, that's just the commu communication from the boiler via open therm to the thermostat. Uh, an interesting fact I found out today, that is. Uh, there is a plus one hour function. There's a lock. I believe that's a lock. Let me get my glasses on. Yeah, it's a lock function. You can press and hold that and the, the, the unit's locked. Uh, if you come home from work early and want to boost your heating up, press the up arrow. Okay, give it a boost, press the tick, 
and your heating will come on. You see the flame, you come in from work early and you're too hot because you 